Higgs, take a look at this. My scans indicate that this is a high-risk area, mainly on account of it being a Tyrannosaur's nest. Oh my! Stay back, Robin. She's cute. That is a vicious predator. I know what you're thinking. No X. I think I'll call her Riker. Morning, Robin. I'm so glad you're awake. I've been rather bored without you. You know what I'm like. I start to get a little existential when I don't have someone to care for. This is pod 3091659, broadcasting on all frequencies. If there are any other survivors out there, let me know. Higgs is getting pretty lonely. I know there's never been a response in over a year, but you really should take this seriously. How long have we been on this planet now? 385 days. Still standing, even after a year. Can you believe we used to live on that ship? Hurtling through the stars at 67 million miles per hour, until... She was a magnificent ship, wasn't she? Other people must have got off as well. How long until we find them, Higgs? You've done extremely well to survive this long. Others might not be so resourceful. Like her? That beast is up in its hole, hiding from shame, I'd imagine. I'm afraid we have some work to do before you can play with your pet. Best you take a look around. Ah, the wicks. Yes, our power problem is affecting this, too. We won't be able to fix much if we can't lift heavy objects. Power generation is not optimal. The water turbine has a fault. This way!
the water turbine needs clearing. Off we go. need repairing too. Oh, wonderful. I can actually help you with that. Good to feel useful. The power should be flowing perfectly now. The wicks will be back online. Oh, there it is. Get it to drop that ball before it destroys the thing. It's not like we can buy another one. Come on, Laika. Don't worry about Higgs. I just gotta work on your training so that he doesn't blow a fuse. Give. Now, big test. Can it remember how to play hide-and-seek? Head over to the tree there and start the game. Off we go. Hide-and-seek starts at the tree. Simple creature, simple rules. Laika, wanna play hide-and-seek? Come. Now you can start the hide-and-seek game. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. Warmer. Yes, warmer. What has it got there? That is a Higgs unit. Get your pet away from him before some serious damage is done. There's precious data in there. We should scan it immediately, Robin. You'll have to put your pet on a leash. I could be next. What do you think would happen if one day it got me in its jaws? Ugh. No, I don't even want to think about it. This is a colony unit sent ahead of the Esmeralda to lay the foundations of our society. A piece of your history. Esmeralda Command. Hello? This is Colony Higgs 11886 from the Autonomous Go Ahead Probe. I am pleased to report we have successfully reached Tyson 3. Atmospheric entry of all agricultural capsules is currently in progress. As we still haven't been in communication with you for years, we immediately initiated our own landing protocols. I think the fault is on our end, though. Something happened to us in deep space. Hello, Command. It's Colony Higgs 11886 again. As I still haven't heard from you, 
I've just wanted you to know we have begun to build some basic structures. Although there aren't any humans here to live in them yet, obviously, it's not going as well as we'd hoped. There's wildlife. It's not exactly safe on the surface, but at least the atmosphere is breathable. Command? Hello? You are coming to Tyson 3, correct? I don't know how long we've been here. My clocks stopped functioning. I'd send you another image of the surface, but my camera's out of commission too. Those pattern B tube apartments you've got coming will be nice, won't they? Entertainment systems, rainforest showers, barbecues, shiny and dry Higgs docks, spare parts, and... Please come. We're waiting for you. These guys built a whole landing site. If our crew were out there, that's where they'd start the colony. These Higgs units can tell us where they are. There must be more. Let's find them. I see. Well, the data here suggests there are three more nearby. Come along. Send it to the gate here. These animals are causing the gate to lock. Go, go! Go now. Good. Now have it bark at them. Roar! Roar! That's it. I don't like scaring the poor things, but your friend would have probably eaten them otherwise. Thanks for all your help today, Robin. I know maintaining your home isn't always what you want to do, but it's vital to your survival. And you know that's what I care most about. I would like to check on the farm this morning. I stopped receiving a signal from the Growbot sometime last night. We don't want to run out of food. <coughs> the farm would be in much better condition if those confounded pterosaurs hadn't started roosting on the cliffside, mischievous pests. This. It's already learned that the Grobot is a source of food. You know, sometimes I worry it is wastefully stupid. Other times I worry it is dangerously clever. The Grobot is offline. That's why there's no signal. Your well-being is dependent on having a reliable source of food. Getting this online again is a priority. I have my suspicions about who's responsible. They've got one of those Hitch units. Those birds will steal anything. Robin, you must save him. Where's that pterosaur going? Look at this. The wind turbine has been savaged. The blades are everywhere. I'm telling you, Robin, those pterosaurs will rue the day.
Blade detached. Good work. Power is restored. Your role on board the Esmeralda could easily have been in construction. Now, don't waste all that food getting that creature to perform party tricks. Destroy the nest, Robin. You won't seriously harm them, but you will send them a message. They're cunning. Unsophisticated, but cunning nonetheless. Roar! Roar! Do it again! Roar! Oh, oh! I enjoyed that! Satisfaction that he would never make it to Tyson III and was not permitted children, so why should he have to suffer to the benefit of others? He says he plans to enjoy life now and, I quote, to hell with Tyson III. Command, Lawrence is now calling every tube apartment he passes just to force its hate unit to answer. This obviously interrupts their life-sustaining work. back to McGill. 
Magellan. I must say, I don't much like it here. The people look at me like I am prey. I can imagine them tearing me apart to find something valuable they could trade for food. I could almost imagine them trying to eat me. They do look hungry. I wish we could make an arrest, but you are right. We can't risk civil disorder. We don't want to make this Lawrence fellow a martyr. Times were desperate after the deep space event. It nearly destroyed us. We couldn't live as we had before it. Some had to do without. Those whose children wouldn't make it to Tyson III suffered terribly. Thankfully, they stopped the madness, but people weren't comfortable working together after that. We didn't realize it, but the colony mission was in jeopardy. You were Columbus crew, of course, selected for your genes. You are a born survivor, Robin. Sorry to take liberties with your safety in there. Got a bit carried away with that whole revenge thing. But the pterosaurs learned a lesson, and you discovered something about the Esmeralda. So all good then, eh? Unfortunately, there are no more Higgs units in that area, so I'd suggest we give up the search for now. The other areas are far too dangerous for a boy your age to be exploring. I can see that pet of yours has some value, but she will still grow up into a monster, and the amount of food she will need is unimaginable. I'd advise against adventure. Robin, it's dangerous. We'd have to explore uncharted areas. We can live here safely by the pod forever. There's living, Higgs, and then there's surviving. That pod doesn't even have a shower. Fine, but you can turn back at any time. This direction is definitely dangerous. I know they are only herbivores in there, Robin, but they have big feet, and they aren't very discriminating. Herbivores also attract predators, and you don't want to become a snack now, do you? It's not particularly wise to heedlessly follow your friend everywhere. It's not like it's sniffing out another Higgs unit, is it? Hey girl, not so fast! Why must it constantly cause trouble? Aha! I'm not the only one who finds your pet disturbing. This herd of longnecks are grazing peacefully. It would be a wise idea to explore this area before something worse than your pet arrives. Construction Higgs. It'll have some interesting data, and it was surprisingly easy to get to.
proper use of DSEV property. Higgs units have a lot of functions, but nutrition is not one of them. See if it likes the fruit. I thought so. It was the color. Finally. Got it. Well done. Quick, Robin, scan the Higgs. We don't know if it's acquired a taste for Higgs units now. This one's a construction unit, essential for maintenance on the Esmeralda's infrastructure. Construction Higgs Unit 7238 reporting. Commander Hamilton addressing you directly. We have experienced a Class Alpha deep space event. We don't know what it was. That's why we're bringing you online. You will take charge. Is the damage internal or external? External. The main engines went offline briefly, so you'll need to investigate that, but we have zero functionality from our outboard systems. We received a message of Earth origin just before the wave of destruction hit. Engines are sub-functional. We can still reach Tyson 3, but it will take significantly longer. Deceleration will be especially impacted. Was there anything in that message from Earth to warn us about the event? No, there was nothing. Can't even be sure it was from Earth, but it was Earth data, all right. Packets checked out. Handshake protocols were different, but you'd expect that. We've been in space nearly a century now, but we know our protocols. This comes from a different source. You need to go outside. We need our comm systems back online. We need to get back in contact with Earth, with Tyson 3. We need to get the rest of that message. It's bad, Commander. Structural damage is minimal, but the exterior of the ship has been electronically sandblasted. We're never getting comms back online without a complete ship refit. But it gets worse. Our life support systems are falling off a cliff. Solar panels, heat exchange tiles, waste recycling, air filters, anything with a connection to the outside is wiped. I think we can get some functionality back, but it will cost us. Life on the Esmeralda is going to be different from now on. Life's going to get tough. Did this event cause us to crash? Indirectly, yes. We still made it to Tyson 3, but there were some problems that were never resolved. That baby long neck seems to be in trouble. You think we can help it, Higgs? Yes, we could help it. Morally, we should. But I do wonder how her parents might react. Hey, come on. You can trust us. We're gonna help you. She could pull herself out if she had something solid to stand on. Good, that should do it. Safely? 
safely back with its family. Another good deed done. It's good that you returned that baby to its mother. Despite the risks involved, I was happy to see them reunited. You like helping lost children, don't you? Maybe we can come back here again sometime. It doesn't seem so dangerous after all. See how the vegetation here is becoming denser? That's because you are approaching what you might call a jungle. According to my dictionary, a jungle is defined as an unnavigable area of tangled trees filled with man-eating predators. Last chance. Are you quite sure you want to find this unit, Robin? in the slightest. That was sarcasm. Luckily they can't get up here, otherwise you'd both be lunch by now. See? Raptors. might be carnivorous. There was a unit here, but all that's left is his shell casing. Something has taken the data core. It can't have gone far. Those cores are heavy. this curious creature. It looks like it's holding tight to something. Something spherical. Surely not. Oh, why is everything in this jungle so vicious? It must have ripped the poor thing apart. Right, good work. Scan it quickly. I have no wish to stay in this appalling jungle a moment longer than necessary. Hurry up with the scan. I don't like it in here if you hadn't noticed. Science Division. I've survived an unexpected planetary descent, but with significant systems impairment, I seem to have landed in a seasonal tropical rainforest. Do you read me? Well, I'd better transmit the data anyway, because this is amazing. Look at all this life. We had no idea there would be creatures as evolved as this on Tyson 3. My database might be as dysfunctional as my flight system. What is that? Oh my! Lucky some of my flight. 
flight motors are still operational, that monster is... No. It can't be. I'm still cross-referencing my database to confirm its integrity, but that is... And I'm sure of this. A velociraptor from Earth's Cretaceous period. At least visually. I should get a DNA sample. Flight systems. Down. Connections. Down. Still, this has been the most exciting day in my personal operating history. What's that? Oh, here. That doesn't look like it's a danger to me. Wait. Ah. Oh, what's it? No, 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 get! No, ah, no! Get, get off! Get off! Ah, no, 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 no! That's it. I'm sorry, Robin. That's all the units we know of, and they've told us nothing about survivors. Think of it this way, though. You're no further from being found than when you came across the first one. Let's go back home. Rescue might still come. It's just a matter of waiting. Please. Where's it Come gone? Back. Your friend. It's missing. Don't panic. I'm sure it just went home. We should go back there too. Come on. Done to this fence. Anything could run straight through it. Wait, that doesn't include you. What? You're going through there after your pet? What about the fence? risks you take for that animal. I hope it's worth it. I wouldn't be surprised if it hasn't just run off to find its tribe. It's a wild animal. After all, it has no love, only instincts. Her name is Laika. I know you're fond of it, but I personally won't ever call it a name. Wild animals don't have names. Just because you got through that jungle unscathed doesn't mean you can go into the graveyard. We locked that fence for a reason. I must say, this is huge. There's no way she could have found her way across there. Typical. Taking a turn back towards the tar pit. Keep an eye out for long necks. Don't worry, girl. You're fine, I'm here. Well done, Robin. You've impressed me again with your adventuring. But now we've got your pet, I think it's time we head straight back home. Look, your pet knows that roar. It might be the same Tyrannosaur that killed its family. Stay inside, Robin. 
a stampede. Okay, it's a very slow stampede, but still extremely dangerous given how incredibly big their feet are. <laughs> Herd has passed now. It's probably safe to go now. Where's that light coming from? Oh, yes, a glowing skull. I suppose you think it's a good idea to have a closer look. Hang on. Well, look at that. An emergency Higgs unit. Do you think Laika meant to lead us here? I bet this has the information I want. Your pet? She's just an animal, I doubt it. This one will tell us about survivors. Emergency Higgs 96450 reporting. Hamilton. Hamilton. Status requested. Typical. The biggest emergency in over 50 years and I've lost connection. It can get so boring being an emergency specialist. I guess that's a good thing. Ah! This is your captain speaking. As many of you already know, a small group of crew have commandeered Escaler 3. This is mutiny. We operate this ship as a democracy, and starting the colonization process is irreversible. This is not a decision a minority can make. Shuttle Escaler 3, we've received reports of unauthorized access to your flight systems. You forced us to this, Captain. We've overridden the controls. We're going to launch. As I told the crew, we are a democracy. You have no right to start the colonization process. We don't know when or if any other humans will ever follow us. We have a whole planet right here to make our own. That's our birthright. Uncouple us so we can launch. We don't know what's down there. You are being a damn fool. Ah, I'm starting ignition anyway. Do not launch. I will not uncouple. Five. Four. Three. As your commander, I beg you to stand down. I won't release your ship. You launch it. Command. This is Emergency Higgs 96450. I've been ejected into space. I shall... Corrupted holographic data. Well, I never. The crash was no accident. They destroyed the Esmeralda all by themselves. They never could get along. Not like us, eh, Robin? We are a close-knit family. Now, let's get that pet of yours and go home. Um, where is Laika? That infernal creature! We should just leave it out here to die! Oh my. I'm sorry. That wasn't very familiar of me, was it? It's just that she's so much trouble. And it wasn't all that long ago that we had barely enough food just for you. But she's your friend. And that's important to you, isn't it? So, we're going to find her. Okay? And then we go home. Stop! Raptors! Be quiet and stay very still. Good. They haven't seen us. Wait for this one to turn around. 
I want you to move when I give the word. Okay. Go! Look at this one. Stubborn beast. He's just standing there. We'll have to engage in some advanced stealth tactics. Throw something as a distraction. That was dangerous, I know, but we must be brave if we want to find your friend. Do you think that's her? Maybe she was leading us here, to the Esmeralda. No, that's not likely. Let's find a safe way to climb down. Your pet is most likely at the bottom. I suppose that was exciting. <coughs> Laika, are you okay? How did you get down here? She's fine. Good. Now we can get out of here. Oh? What's that? A charging station for the planetarium. Of course. Get this planetarium online, and we would have the processing power to repair your corrupted data and the means by which to view it. What outrageous luck. Let's hope it still works. You'll have to override it manually. Use the red handle to open it. Good, you can insert the battery now. Now scan your face to authenticate. Inception. So, first one is in. We can get started on that circuit now, if you like. That's all the batteries in place. Now we can transmit energy to this projector, get it online. The journey will begin shortly. Please take your seats. Come along. 
We're back online. Come on, we can upload the corrupted data here somewhere. We'll find out what happened to your family soon, I hope. The journey will begin shortly. Please take your seats. That'll take a while to process. The journey must be beginning. Have you seen this before? Please welcome your VIP guest for tonight, Robin Anderson. Light. Light from the void. The voyage of humanity has been long, but we move forward ever faster, ever further. We reach into the darkness and bring light. We send out our brightest and most brilliant to new stars, new planets, to Tyson III aboard the starship Esmeralda. 3,000 souls growing with each generation. Children born among the stars to be as gods. Where there is darkness, they will bring light. Where there is chaos, they will bring order. And where it is barren, they will bring life. Humanity's greatest journey yet will end here, at Tyson III, one century from now. But this is just the beginning. Our children will come together, work together, be together, and build a new world. Where one journey ends, humanity's next journey begins. A story that will be as incredible as any yet told on Earth. We will build a new world out there. We will bring life to every corner of the universe. And we will be magnificent. If only we could have built this. Amazing. Believe me, Higgs. I'm going to build that city. I've got a lot of time on my hands anyway. Don't worry, Robin. I have a plan. That wasn't my plan, exactly. Let me think. What's the only thing that will scare a Tyrannosaur? Meteor? Wait! Another Tyrannosaur! Scan Lyca, now! You called her Lyca? Of course. I'll run her scan through the projector. It'll buy us some time. Good work. Now let's go. I think I found a way out. Over here! Quick, Robin! Shot! Come on, let me help. That projection won't distract him forever. If only we had a meteor, the projector. If I disable the levitation, that could work. It's going to fall. Clear the impact zone. Let me do a quick scan and make sure he's dead. He might just be pretending. Okay. Phew. That's a relief. He is most definitely deceased. Quite incredible what can be achieved when we put aside our little differences. Yeah. Thanks, Higgs. You know, they killed Lyca's entire family. And now it looks like they are coming for her. Lyca must pose a serious threat. If she's some kind of alpha predator, that could make her very useful if tamed, and very dangerous if not. So, you'd better make sure you train her properly then, if she's going to be a member of our little family. What about the projector? Oh yes, the projector. Let's get this started.
Here we go. As your commander, I beg you to stand down. I won't release your ship. You launch it. Oh, God, no. Some of the crew tried to force launch an Escala shuttle. The explosion knocked the Esmeralda out of stable orbit. Ready the escape pods. The pods were disabled, sealed shut. Someone locked them down. Why would anyone disable the escape pods? Is anyone even in them? Launch the pods manually. Do it, now! She was forced to launch every pod. Maybe only one will survive, but that is better than nothing. Launch! The crew didn't make it. They're empty. All empty. Oh, wait. There are people on that one. And more. More people escaped. I don't believe it. Look at them. Falling like rain. We didn't see all the pods. It's impossible to know how many launched. But some did make it off the Esmeralda. Maybe even your parents. Of course, we don't know if they survived on the planet. I just hope they had a Higgs unit like me with them. Yes, and a pet dinosaur. Everyone needs a pet dinosaur. Let's go home, everyone. Thank you.